Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create an exam timetable app using MIT App Inventor. So first, let me explain you how this app works. So first, they will choose a date of the exam and then after they choose the date, they need to enter the subject for the exam. Then after they click on save, then it will be added and it shows math and it shows the date. So you can add how much ever subjects you want. So I'll add another subject and show you. Let me choose the date. And now if I click on save, you can see that both the subjects are added. So we are going to create this app using date picker. Now, if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials on MIT App Inventors so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial. So start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic Android mobile app. So first we are going to put a title for this app exam timetable. So we are going to put it at the top of this screen one. So let's bring in a label and we are going to bring this to be at the middle horizontally. So let's click on screen one. And you need to change align horizontal to be center. Next, we are going to increase the font size of this to be 30. And now let's change the text of this to be exam timetable. Next, if you want, you can also change the font, font typeface. I'm going to change it to monospace. And I'm going to make the title to be bold, exam timetable, which is the name of the app. Next, we are going to put some spacing between the exam timetable, which is the title and all other content in the app. So to put some spacing, we are going to bring in another label and here let's erase all the text and we are going to increase the height of this to be 20%. Next, we are going to bring in horizontal arrangement from the layouts. And here we are going to bring in a label. And then we are also going to bring in a date picker. So if you don't know what date picker is, it is a component through which they can choose the date. I already showed you how this works in my demo. Now let's, we are going to change the text of this to be exam date. Next, let's make the font to be bold. And I think, let me put a colon. Yeah, now we are going to increase the font size of this to be 18. And here in text for date picker, let's change the text of this to be choose date. Now we are going to, if you want, you can change the background color. I'll put it to be orange and I'm going to make the font to be bold. Next, we are going to bring this to be at the center. So let's click on the horizontal arrangement. And here you can see align horizontal and align vertical should be center. Next, let's duplicate this. We are going to duplicate the whole horizontal arrangement. And here, let's delete the date picker. Now, let's change the text of label for this label to be. Here, let's put the text to be subject and then a colon. Here, they need to enter the subject. So they, they'll enter it in a text box. So let's bring in a text box and we are going to put it inside the horizontal arrangement too. Now we are going to increase the width of both of these horizontal arrangements. So let's put the width to be fill parent so that it occupies the whole space. So let me do it for the horizontal arrangement too also. And now we are going to bring in a button. So let's put the text of this button to be safe. So when they click this button after they choose the exam date and then the subject, it will be added in a list. So first we are going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size to be 18. Now let's put the background color of this to be orange or you can put any color you like. Next we are going to bring in a list view so that we can show all the subjects and then their dates. So here we are going to change the background color to be white and then the text color is going to be black. Now we are going to bring in TinyDB to store data the the exam date and then the subject will be stored in TinyDB so that even if they close the app, it, the data will not be gone. So let's bring in TinyDB from the storage section. Now let's go to the block section. So first we are going to create three variables. So let's bring in initialize global and let's change this to be timetable. So in this variable, we are going to save the timetable, which is all of these. 
the exam date the subjects everything will be shown in list view one so first we are going to store it in this var variable so we are going to put this to be create empty list because at first it needs to be an empty list next we are going to create another variable called date and here we are going to put it to be zero and now let's duplicate this and we are going to create another variable called subject and again it's going to be zero next when after they choose the date using the date picker which is here we need to store it in this variable which we have already created so let's go to date picker and here you can see when date picker one dot after date set so after the date is set we are going to save it here in this variable so set global date to we are going to use the join block to show the date so here first we are going to show the day so if you see here in day date picker here you can see day date picker one dot day next we are going to put we are going to separate it so we are going to put like this and next we are going to put the month so let's bring in another string let's duplicate this and let's change this to be date picker one dot month so here you can see month next we need to show the year so we are going to bring in two strings and here we are going to bring in this and let's duplicate this again and here let's change this to be year now we have stored the date in this variable whatever they have selected using the date picker next when button 1 is clicked so here you can see when button 1 dot click this button the save button it needs to get the subject and then it needs to add it to list view 1 so that it can show the subject and it shows the dates for each subject so first we are going to set subject to global subject to text box 1 dot text which means whatever they enter in text box 1 which is the subject after we get the subject we are going to add it to the list so here you can see add items to list and then the list is going to be this this variable get global timetable next for the item we are going to put multiple items so we are going to use the join block and here we are going to get the subject get global subject and then here we are going to put a hyphen now we need another string so let's go here and here you can see string and in this string we are going to put let's duplicate this global date so that first it will show the subject then there will be an hyphen and then it will show the date of the subject now we have added the item to the list so after we add it to this variable global timetable we need to save it in tinydb so that the data will not be lost even if the app is closed so let's go to tinydb and here you can see call tinydb.store value and then let's put a tag for this i'm going to put a tag to be timetable next for the value to store we are going to get the global timetable variable in which we have stored all the subject and then the dates for the subjects after we store it in tinydb next we are going to show it in list view one so that it will be visible for the users so let's go to list view one and here you can see set list view one dot elements to we will get the global timetable next one screen one is initializing which means the app is loading or starting we are going to show the we will get the value from the tiny db and then we are going to show it in list view this list view list view one so first to get it we are going first we are going to save it in this variable from tiny db so here you can see set global timetable to let's bring in the tiny db block the get value and then the tag for this is going to be timetable next if there is no value for this then we are going to create an empty list for this variable so let's go to lists and here you can see create empty list now after we get it from tiny db and we save it in this variable we are going to show it in list view one so again let's put the same block set list view one dot elements to we will get the variable now let's test the app and let's see if it is working here you can see the exam timetable app first i'm going to choose the exam date 
so let me do it to be 20 next we need to put the subject i'm going to put the subject to be science now let me click on save and you can see that it is added so you can see it shows the name of the subject and there's an hyphen and it shows the date which is 26 2021 so let me add i'm going to put the date to be 22 and this time the subject is going to be english now let me click on save and you can see that english is also added and it shows the correct date so you can see that i have added two subjects so you can add more subjects and we have also learned how to use date picker in mit app inventor in this video now do you want to create a chat app in mit app inventor watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor